This is New Jersey On Stage on the web at nj-onstage.tv. Hi, Joe Vierno here for NJ On Stage. We are continuing a series that we just started last month. I call it the Interesting Theater Person of the Month. And I have with me my guest today is Rory Shalcraft. <laughs> Rory is a musical director, musician, part-time actor, composer, arranger, orchestrator, and conductor. And he's just come on the scene recently within the last seven or eight years as a musical director. Um, I've had the opportunity to work with him. Uh, we, we worked on Into the Woods Into together. The Woods, right. So I know a lot about how you conduct yourself. But Rory, thanks for, thanks for coming out and spending some time with sure. us. I think you're a really interesting guy. You're our, you're our theater interesting person for the month of April 2014. <laughs> um, and um, you started working in community theater in 2006. Right. It was the Main Street Theater Company's production of Susical. Right. right? That's right. So using that as a point of reference. Okay. Okay? Let's go before that and let the people know how you prepared for community theater <laughs> in central New Jersey. What was going on? Well, when I was little, I was, I was a the musical theater kid, so I would always put on the cast albums to original shows. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. But un, probably unlike some of the musical theater kids that I would know, I didn't imagine myself being in the show. I imagined myself conducting the show. So I'd be standing in my bedroom waving, flapping my arms and trying to dry the laundry. How old are you when you're flapping your arms? Oh my goodness, seven, eight, nine. And you started playing piano at what age? I started playing piano at 11 years, 12 okay. years, so, so sixth grade. So you're waving your hands before you're actually using them to right. hit the keyboard. That's right. Okay, so, uh, so uh, immediately you're drawn to the, the, the total sound rather yeah, than absolutely. the performance. Yeah. yeah. High school years. High school years, I, and I, I had them. Uh, when, uh, Good. <laughs> we uh, no, I, I was in. We did do a musical once a year. Went yeah. to a very small mm -hmm. high school up in uh, Sussex County, New Jersey, just north of here. Okay. And so we would do a musical once a year. Uh, there was a jazz band. I was in band, and okay. I would take private piano lessons. Yeah. Somehow you found your way to go to college at Catholic University in D.C. I did. So yeah. you're in Sus uh, Sussex, County Sussex County in New Jersey. Right. And you moved, I guess, to D.C. to go to school. That I did. And you were going to major in musical composition. That's right. And then upon graduating from there, you stayed in, you stayed in D.C. Stayed for in a number of years. for about, quite a long time. For about 10 years. Just about, yeah. yeah. I think it's so interesting what you were doing there. I mean, you were working as a, as a musician when you were in uh, D.C. Let's talk about some of those okay, things you were sure. doing. A lot of my contacts and connections that I had in school, I just used those and worked in um, the semi-professional theaters. We, the, these are wouldn't be under contract, but you'd maybe get points or you'd earn a percentage of the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I would often, I started off as an arranger, vocal arranging or arranging pieces of music or I'd be an accompanist and then I became a music director for a couple of shows and even uh, eventually wound up under contract with a group called the Living Stage Theatre Company, which was an adjunct of Arena Stage, the yeah. regional mm -hmm. theatre down there. Okay. You were married while you were in D.C. Well, I was down there, yeah. Okay. The same year, the same year that I went on tour. <laughs> on tour with? With the Living Stage Theater Company in oh, 1992. Okay. We went on tour in the West Coast. Um, and then your son came along. That's in Chris. That's Chris in Chris, 95. Chris is now 19. Yeah, yeah. Also a musical. He is? Yeah, Where did he get yeah. that from? I have no idea. I mean, from <laughs> me and my wife, I guess. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, Elena. Is, is also an actor and she musical, is. a singer. She, is. Uh, she was also in the Into the Woods that I, right. that I was in. Right. So you brought this boy up all right. He's done some, uh, uh, some composing, I understand. Is he, that right? Yeah, he has. Um, in fact, here at Villagers, when they're going to be doing Women in Black, uh, Women in Black, I guess that's the... He's written the incidental music for that show. That's and right. He writes his own stuff, and it's great. I'll be home. And listening to him pounding things out on the piano yeah, as well, so yeah. it's pretty exciting. Did you do any of the teaching, or did you pass that off to somebody no, else? No, we let the, we let someone else take that. They let a pro do it, right? <laughs> he wouldn't listen to dad. Are you kidding? So you're in DC, and you've got a career, and you're ha you're you're having a family, and and for some reason you came back to New Jersey. 
to be closer to family. Both my wife and I have family in New Jersey and New York oh. and Pennsylvania. Oh, I so see. Okay. She grew up in Milford, Pennsylvania, and I grew up in northern New Jersey. So okay. when we had Chris, when we had our son, we decided we needed to be closer to family. Okay. So, so. so when you moved to New Jersey, how long had you been living in New Jersey when Susical came along in 2006? We moved to New Jersey to, in uh, 1998. Uh huh. So that's what five, six years, eight years. Yeah, eight years. Without doing any shows or any work in theater. Okay. And what were you doing musically during that? During that time, I was just in the church choir, which was actually quite a, a fun yeah. time. And we, my, Elaine and I, got went on a, a, a pilgrimage tour with the choir to Rome, and my wife and I Not were bad. the. Soloist at St. Peter's Basilica for really? one mass. Oh, so now you're a singer. I have to add that <laughs> to all the things Fix that you. Uh, I'll fix it. Uh, so, um, so you're you're in New Jersey, and um, you're you're not doing music except for choir. Right. All right. And then what happened? How'd you get into all of this? Well, after Chris was old enough, Elena decided it was time for her to try out for some other shows. Right. So one night she comes home from a rehearsal. And she says, expect a phone call from the producers at Main Street Theater in Sayreville. They're, they need a music director for Susical. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they did. They called me up, met them, they hired me, and I've been doing and the this rest, non -stop as they say. Is non stop history. is right. Yeah. Plus, you have a day job. I do. Which to me is personally interesting because I've done similar sorts of things. This is learning and development for a bank. Right. But apart from you know the stresses of, of the day job, <laughs> learning and development, you're also training people on bank compliance. Yeah, a I real mean, exciting yeah, well, topic. Yeah, you, you drew the wrong <laughs> straw, pal. I and mean, the other people. People are doing more interesting things. I always have to introduce myself. Yes, I'm the instructional designer for compliance training. Don't hate me. You know, <laughs> kind of thing. Well, it's a bank, so <laughs> compliance is changing every week or so. Um, so you you actually get to do that during the day. You've mm -hmm. got a day job, Absolutely. and then almost any night. You're being a musical director someplace around here. Right. I, I call it the Central New Jersey Band. But uh, uh, um, unlike most musical directors who I've met, uh, they concentrate in one particular theater. Today mm -hmm. we're shooting this at Villagers, and you're right. preparing falsettos. Give me right. some falsettos. Uh, uh, That's enough of that. <laughs> It's amazing. You see, you, don't, you folks don't get to watch the fingers flying across. So you've got falsettos, and, and I know you've also been um, uh, you've been working in the uh, in the pit for for cats at uh, some at, high school right up in Maplewood. Yep. Just we just finished that this past weekend. That was a that was fun. That was because I got to just play in the orchestra right. for that. In fact, on Facebook, I went to your Facebook then, okay. as we all you you made this remarkable statement that I don't understand. <laughs> oh. You said working through a cut sheet. Uh, for a keyboard one book, <laughs> now I know what the members of my band go through. <laughs> well, right. educate me. What the hell does that mean? Okay, well, the way it works, we get our music, and the actors will get their books. I'll have my piano book, and we have the books for the musicians for the orchestra. And I usually get them to the band members about three weeks, four weeks before we open. Mm -hmm. But in that interim period of those three weeks, we're still rehearsing. Yeah. with the actors. Mm -hmm. So we may be deciding in run-throughs, oh, let's cut these four measures, or let's add a rest here, or we need to go back and repeat a, a couple extra measures, or watch the action on stage for a particular visual cue. Right. Well, all of these changes, ah, I okay. will need to communicate to the orchestra members. And so I'll type those up as That's a, what you as call a, a cut sheet? That's what we call a cut sheet. So that that Facebook message was the shoe on the other foot, as it yeah. were, because I'm usually the one writing those cut sheets and sending Let's them out. Let's talk about this. You're going to do Bye Bye Birdie in the Park. Right. Auditions April 4th. That's right. Audition. Musical directing at Plays in the Park. Yeah. And I've been to a number of shows there. You're going to have an orchestra of about 16 or 17 players, yep. and maybe more parts than that. How much preparation goes into that sort of an orchestra? Uh, at quite a few weeks of preparation for that. Let's talk about what that preparation is, Rory. Well, every for uh, Place in the Park, I'm going to have to make all the changes and cuts to the books directly. Um, I, they, the 
orchestra members will get their books about seven days before we have our first rehearsal. Now, if you have 17 musicians, it's more than 17 books because some people double and maybe triple, right? Well, usually in those kinds of books, that's true. They may double or triple a clarinet and a saxophone and a flute. But usually in those books, it's just one book uh -huh. and it'll be written when to change their instruments. <laughs> Thus, oh when they yeah. double, uh, I, yeah. I'm very impressed with those who can double. Yeah, well, uh, Bird, Bye Bye Birdie's been around for a while, so they probably have that pretty well published by yeah. now. So you're putting a good number of hours into that show well mm -hmm. in advance of yeah. auditions. Oh, yeah. Tell, tell my friends how they should audition for a play for Rory Chalcraft. <laughs> well, um, do your homework. Find out what kind of show it is and what style of music it is. Um, and when you choose a song, Choose one that's going to be in the style of that show. Make sure you read all the instructions on the audition notice. That's key. Um, and then when you show up to audition, the key, I want to know your personality on stage. I want to see that electricity or that buzz in your eyes. Mm -hmm. um, you, you can carry a tune, sure, no problem. But it's that personality on stage that's really important. You heard it first here, folks. Let's talk about some of the stuff you're doing. We talked about the fact that you were a musician, you mm -hmm. were playing keyboards for cats. Mm -hmm. You're doing falsettos right now. Falsettos! Falsettos! Oh. <laughs> All right, enough. Okay, enough of that. Then we've got Plays in the Park. Right. You're doing Bye Bye, Bye, Birdie. Bye Birdie. Putting it together at Playhouse 22. Right. Following a number of months later, you're going to be doing Mame, the great Jerry Herman uh, musical, yes. and there's something called Edges in the middle. You don't get a chance to rest, but what's interesting right. is you go from one style to another. Yeah. It's true. Do you have a favorite style of music? I, I, you know, I love, for musical theater, I like it all, pretty much. But if I were to just be my, by myself listening to music, mm -hmm. a good Duke Ellington song, yeah. Nina Simone singing, oh, be, okay. that kind of stuff I love. Okay. Yeah, well, as far as I know, there's only one full Duke Ellington musical, that sophisticated lady, sophisticated somebody ladies. wants to... There you go. I mean, his Ooh, music is featured be... in, in a number of other sure. Broadway shows. Sure. Um, the composers that we usually deal with in community theater are not the Duke Ellingtons, right. okay? <laughs> Unfortunately, because I agree with you, I love that sound. So, um, of, of the music that you usually play, what is, what, who's your favorite composer? Do you have favorites, or is Do it just all pretty favorites? much the same? Well, I'm going to just come right out and say Stephen Sondheim's my favorite. As a composer, absolutely. Yeah, why is that? Why is that? His music, um, well, because I studied music as a, co a composition major, uh -huh. and just be able to dig into that, it's yeah. very meaty stuff. Yeah. Really, really neat I things. would say impossible. No, I don't think so. Well, I sat in a couple of times it's, when you were talking to your musicians, and it's a totally <laughs> different language. Uh, well, I guess you need to, through your education, you just don't sit in front of a piano and, and just play. You have to understand all those things. A lot things. of Italian and Latin, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Give me some rabato, whatever that means. Um, when it comes time to put together an orchestra in mm -hmm. community theater, uh, are you working usually with the same people? Or? Now I am. No, I am, yeah. How long and did it take for you to develop your own sort of group of guys and A women? couple of years. A yeah. couple of years. I mean, when I, when I started the Seussical adventure back mm -hmm. in 2006, mm -hmm. the theater had hired the band because I didn't know anybody yeah. up here. Right, exactly. And that's how Plays in the Park will do it, too. They'll contract the musicians. Mm -hmm. music director doesn't... I don't do any of that. But now, with falsettos or... Edges or Mame, I'll I'll contact people myself. Okay, yeah. um, so you're pretty much working with people you work with regularly. Do you ever have to deviate from that because of the particular instruments that are required? Sometimes, sometimes, like if there's uh, a need to have someone be able to double on oboe and clarinet and saxophone and flute. On your guy, you know, there you go. I'll, you go to I'll, I'll I'll write that Joe. <laughs> no, and, and I you know, and I know somebody who can do that, and I'll I'll call her up. Uh, so I I built. A, a collection of names and numbers, and, and we've played for, together for a number of well, years. Well, you've only been doing this for about sure. seven or eight years, mm -hmm. so you know you've done quite a lot. But then again, you do every show in community musical and community <laughs> theater since two thousand and six. Um, uh, is is there a show that you haven't done yet that you just can't wait to do? Aside from sophisticated aside ladies, aside from sophisticated ladies, I would love to do a little night music. Ah, again, Sondheim. Um, uh, hey, Sondheim again. Yeah. Yes. Why is that? There's something very special about that ah. musical for me. Mm -hmm. um, when I was in high school, I heard about Sondheim. I played a couple of his tunes, mm -hmm. but I didn't really study him. 
uh, his music. And then when I was in college, the assistant dean to the School of Music invited me and a couple of friends over for dinner. Mm -hmm. And in the middle of the night, he puts on the original cast album of A Little Night Music. Mm -hmm. And right from that vocal quintet when they're singing la 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 and they're doing yeah, the, yeah, the remember, yeah. uh -huh, uh -huh. what is that? Right. And I had to yeah. learn that music. Yeah. I had to understand it. It was something that really yeah. spoke to me. Mm -hmm. And that was my entrance into really studying Sondheim I felt the same music. way the first time I heard Company. Okay. Sondheim's 1970. Yeah. And what is that? Where did that it's, come from? Well, oh, that right. cacophony of sound. Who thought of this? Right. Now, what's the flip side of that? What's the musical you don't want to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, oh, you know, the, uh, musicals that would have s songs that don't go anywhere. And so welcome. Spring Awakening is not something that I'd be interested in doing. Familiar enough with it to be able to make that judgment, yeah. but you're not interested it's in... It's not interested. It's yeah. not my thing. I, yeah. I mm -hmm. like music that'll either reveal a character more deeply or move the story forward mm -hmm. or help the audience understand the atmosphere, the environment of the show. Mm -hmm. I just don't get that with that particular show. Do you ever get a chance to relax? Apparently for only 65 days of the year. We, we, we did, well, did we, we do I, the math? We did some math. That we because figured you're, out that doing, was... you're doing five or six shows a year. Yeah. And with all the rehearsals and the performances and so forth, we, we worked out that you're, you're working about 200 or 300 mm -hmm. days a year. And we tried to <laughs> right. translate that into how many miles you drive. Because you live in South River. I do, yeah. Which no yeah. matter, if you're in Central Jersey, no matter where you're going is a schlep. There's a word, look it up. Schlep. <laughs> Um, so, so you're just busy all the time, and that's yeah. what makes you our interesting theater person for the month of April. <laughs> the fact that you've spread yourself around, you've you've uh, attained this this level of expertise. Uh, you're one of the most sought-after musical directors around in such a very short period of time, yeah. folks. This is musical director, musician, part-time actor. That's true. I, I do that, yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Composer, arranger, orchestrator, and conductor, Rory Shalcraft. Wow. Um, graduate of uh, Catholic University in D.C., married man to Elena, who's also yeah. a musical, with a musical son, Chris. Yeah. And preparing falsettos. Here we go. Look at those go. fingers go. There we go. Rory, thanks a lot for <laughs> coming so on. Welcome, Joe. Thank I really you. appreciate Absolutely. you spending the time My with us. Okay.